Hey everyone, Ace Maven here with a Vox Machina tutorial on piloting the Rook. So the Rook is sort of a mid-heavy grinder in the game. It has two large weapons, uh, one on each arm, and it has the most powerful side strafing jets in the game. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this grinder and some tips and tricks for piloting it around. So I have another video on my channel that goes into a little more detail on piloting the Rook, so I encourage you to check that out. Uh, this is just going to be a quick overview on it. So Rook, uh, we're going to check out its heat dissipation first. So there I just shot off two rail guns. You see its heat dissipation is not great, not horrible, but not super terrific. Uh, so you do have to watch your heat on this thing. Some folks couple it with uh, heat, ex heat or cooling modules. And that, that can help, uh, but you do have to kind of be careful. You'll also notice here the fuel recharge. Again, better than like a gold rush or a dredge, uh, but still not super fast. And the thing about this grinder is you can tend to do a good bit of flying around. So you have to be very cognizant of fuel in a rook. Uh, whether you decide to play, you know, this uh, dual rail gun, which takes a bit of, you know, practice, or you want to put two lasers on here, even two cannons, uh, that's where the heat comes in. So even though the heat might dissipate okay, you're building up heat, like, really fast because you have two large uh, weapon mounts. So even with you know, with two rail guns, if you shoot them simultaneously, I only got two salvos in simultaneously and I was overheating. Uh, so that's something that, you know, you have to watch the heat on this thing. Because no matter what weapons you have, because they're large weapons, you're building up heat really fast. Uh, so watch your heat, watch your fuel. Um, they're sort of medium. It's, a, it's got decent armor, but you know, it's, it's not as good, it's, it has tremendous armor on the arms. Um, so if you're in a fight and you're taking shots, turn your arm toward the enemy and let your arms take it because they have a ton of armor. Uh, it takes a lot to shoot off a rook arm, believe me, I've tried. Um, so if you're in a fight or you see a ram coming your way and you're out of gas or something, turn your shoulder, you know, into the ram and let them ram your shoulder. They might take your arm off of that, but they're almost guaranteed to pop uh, because that's a ton of armor. Now, here's the thing about the Rook for sure is, again, it has the most powerful side strafing jets in the game. So when you're flying around the Rook, it, it's, it's not really beneficial to fly forward like a gold rush uh, because you can, you can fly sideways so much more effectively. So you actually want to kind of surf in the rook. Yes, I, I'm actually, you know, turning my head and looking sideways, and then maybe when I'm, I hit a rock there, and then when I land, you can land sideways, sure, but you can also land forward. Now, uh, when you land in a rook or when you hit a rock, the, the rook's, like, <laughs> bottom half, its legs and everything are actually quite springy. There's something about the way they're configured or built to where they offer a lot of sort of spring to them. So it's important to try to take advantage of that when flying a rope. Uh, there are a couple of ways of doing this. So first, uh, first is just if you're flying on like the regular ground. So I'm gonna here hit the ground. There'll be a bit of a spring in the opposite direction. And then you sort of like launch into that direction, okay? So you can kind of use this you can use this to sort of like just keep pinballing around basically. So here I'm going to kind of hit this rock, but you see I get that little bounce back in the other direction, and I ran into one of my boxes. You get that bounce in the other direction. So um, there are some pretty amazing pilots uh, with rooks. I mean, they will just bounce, you know, uh, from rock to rock to rock across a map at like ludicrous speed. Um, and so you can really, you can really take advantage of that uh, in flying the rook. Uh, they, they can also ram. Any any grinder really can ram, right? But they can ram. Oops. Sideways.
ways. I think that I'm looking around sideways uh, and do like you know decent damage. Uh, it takes a little practice, of course, but you know you can do that. Uh, so the main thing is you know to take advantage of those side straightening jets. Now the rook does have these sort of vision impediments here. And uh, my understanding is that's actually deliberate because you have these two big guns. So this is a bit of a nerf for the rook so that you're not just uh, wreaking havoc on everybody in your sight. So on a map like this, on Serpent Plains, it doesn't really matter too much. It's very flat. Everything's pretty much within my field of view. When you get into the more three-dimensional maps, uh, like Arid Oasis or in Cryptic Tundra or something, you know, that can be a real hindrance, or if you've got a really skilled hopper pilot, they can they can hover right in your blind spot and just start shooting at you, and you're looking up here like, where are they? And no, your scope does not see through it, so don't try, it doesn't work. So you do have to deal with that. Um, I tend to ignore it. Um, I basically kind of pretend it's not there. Um, in, in two respects. One, I don't want it to significantly like alter my gameplay, you might say. Um, I will stay out of areas where it's a disadvantage, but I don't want to be completely fixated on it, uh, thinking I can magically see through it or something. Another thing is if I am shooting at someone and I'm trailing them and they go into that part, I just can keep shooting uh, until they're wherever or dead. Um, because I do want to still, you know, I still want to maintain fire and stuff. So, let's see if I can ram this guy. Okay. <laughs> A little off target. You see it can be used to ram. So that is the rook.